I wanted to be really good. I mean, that was the main thing. I wanted to establish a rhythm. I wanted to be good for the contestants. I guess that was, you know, the, the, the thing that was foremost in my mind because I feel like they show up here. This is an awfully important day for them. And I didn't want to disappoint them. So I guess that, in many ways, was, was my paramount concern. Well, it's challenging. Uh, I didn't realize quite how challenging. I watched an awful lot of Alex Trebek, and I sort of started to understand it. When you think about it as, oh, my God, I'm going to stand up there and do that. And then when you actually come and try, uh, it's not easy. But that's fun, right? That's part of life. If you get an opportunity like that, you got to take it. And I was so happy to be given the chance. You know, I was a contestant uh, on Celebrity Jeopardy, and I thankfully won. Um, I didn't spend a lot of time with Alex. He did come over and chat with us and sort of un uh, help us understand what had just happened and discuss the game with us. Um, but really, what I actually have done is studied him in part to try to get ready for this. And so I feel actually closer to him from having done that and watch just what a master he was. And you can't, as I said, you can't really fully appreciate it until you actually think about trying to do it and then try to actually do it. Oh my God, I don't know how he did it. Well, you know, actually it was a group of my friends, some of whom I work with, uh, and um, some of whom I, uh, are just close friends, but many from the TV business. After all, when we were doing this as long as we have, you have so many of your friends. And they insisted that I practice. Uh, and so we have a space right near my house that we used and a bunch of uh, my friends showed up to be contestants, to have me be there, and then a, a few others just to listen and critique. And I thought, well, at the very least, we'll have pizza, we'll have some wine, we'll have a good time, right, seeing your friends, especially these days indoors, which was in and of itself an occasion. Uh, but it actually ended up being helpful. So uh, it was great. A handful of friends who are enormous fans, and it may not have actually been something we ever discussed, and so when they heard the news, I got this avalanche, and in particular, a handful of people who are just worship the show uh, and were all over me, you know, with advice, with asking everything. What do you know? Are you thinking about? Have you done? Uh, it was really funny. But yeah, I'd say a handful of my good friends. Uh, well, your amazing team here really just kept trying to get me to be myself. You know, there's not that many opportunities in the game because the game is the star to show a lot of yourself. And really, I wanted to just focus on the gameplay. But they did tell me to smile, to try to have fun, which I tried to do, to loosen up a little bit. Uh, that was all great advice, to be enthusiastic, obviously, and supportive of the contestants as well. I was. I was nervous. Certainly the first time. You know, I mean, you know this. The first time you do anything, you're going to get nervous. I mean, I don't get nervous, thankfully, in front of a TV camera very often anymore. Um, you know, maybe for a sit down with the president or something like that. But, uh, but I definitely was feeling the nerves initially because it's new and something new always sort of gets you going. But then I sort of calmed down. Uh, well, the Robin Hood organization has been around for quite some time now. It's, it's somewhat unique in that its board of directors funds the entire operational budget. So everything is, that is given goes directly out. Uh, and of course, you know, New York has always had a lot of people who are having a rough go of it. Uh, unfortunately, that has only gotten worse during the pandemic. And so, you know, I wanted to try to focus on my hometown, and every little bit helps.